Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Okay, so today's video is perfume haul. So I have four perfume here. These are all winners. I've had them for about two weeks and they quickly climbed to be one of my favorite. Some of them are blind buys, actually three of them are blind buys. One of them I've sampled it before and I really loved it. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So the first perfume that I bought, this is um, Lush Cardamom Coffee. I actually really, really impressed with this. I bought this because I saw um, Sebastian from Smelling Great Fragrance talked about that this is his favorite coffee perfume it's discontinued but this year they happened to bring it back and i really really like it so i do recommend that a lot and and for grantica also compare it with another one which is i'm home from lush this is also discontinued but i'm pretty sure that you could find this one on secondary market at quite affordable price so i'm home is more affordable than cardamom coffee and supposedly they smell quite similar so i was interested in cardamom coffee and then i saw this one so i thought maybe i'll get this one as well if they're too similar i plan to declutter one but actually to my nose this both are worth keeping so i'm gonna keep those two in my perfume collection because I really, really, really like this too. So yeah, okay, let's get started with cardamom coffee first. Sebastian talked highly of this. The notes that are listed in Fragrantica's are cardamom, coffee, oud, olive tree, and rose oil. This to my nose smells like a syrupy coffee with a slight burn scent so yeah this one is really really nice it actually smells quite similar to a very realistic eastern european coffee when i first smell it it actually smells pretty similar to nespresso if you had those like cappuccino shot from nespresso that's what this one smells like to me it smells pretty realistic it has that sourness when you drink Nespresso, like super strong cappuccino, that's what it smells like to me. Like super sour, super strong coffee with slight burn vibe. But it's so subtle. Yeah, so this one smells like um, uber realistic Nespresso sour strong with the tons of syrups. Yeah, that's what it smells like. Nespresso also has this slightly burnt smell as well and sour and super strong coffee. But this one's also sweet, so it adds syrup. So that's what cardamom coffee smells like. Now, I'm home. Smells similar to cardamom coffee, but except this one smells like vanilla and coffee. But the coffee here is not as sour, it's not burned. This one smells like just ground coffee with a lot of vanilla. Yeah, that's what it smells like. And a little bit of hint of cocoa. That's what this one smells like. That's what I'm home smells like. The notes that are listed in Fragranticas are cacao, vanilla, and benzoin. Now, I like them both, and actually, I think they both are keepers. I really, really love it. Um, the dry down of cardamom coffee is leaning towards on cardamom and vanilla. So think of like changing constants with coffee note, with the stronger coffee note. So think of it that way, like cardamom, vanilla with coffee note that's what this one is leaning towards for the dry down i am home though is ambery vanilla 
on the dry down. So think of like by the fireplace minus the heat. Add coffee note, chocolate coffee note. Think of it that way. So this is more like changing constants or luby rouge cardamom vanilla with a little bit of coffee note and this one is like replica by the fireplace ambery vanilla with coffee note well minus the fireplace scent you know those the dry down the sweet warm ambery vanilla so that's what i'm homes are yeah i really really like them both out of this two, which one's my favorite? I think I prefer cardamom coffee just because this is more unique. Whereas I'm home, it's also really nice. But I just feel like, like I've smelled a lot more of these than that. I guess it depends what you like. If you like uh, Luby Rouge, if you want more of that, get cardamom coffee. If you want more like by the fireplace, Grand Soir minus heat. Um get I'm home but essentially they're very similar but the dry down they're going to a different direction and of course they both are by Lush so there's a strong Lush DNA Lush DNA tends to be pungent aromatic and pretty statement making I really 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 like this too so they both are deeper in my collection okay so the next one that I bought is uh, Mizensir Tres Cherry. So the notes that are listed on Fragranticas are Orange Blossom, Amber, Sea Notes, Jasmine, Bourbon Vanilla, Australian Sandalwood. This one, you guys, is really, really good. This is a musky scent. So as you know, I mentioned before that I love Narciso Pudre. I love musk scent, but musk is a love and hate for me. If it's too strong, if it's too sharp, if it's assaulting my nose, I won't like it. But Mesensir, they're really good with their musky scent because the musk that they use here is pretty strong, but at the same time, it's blended carefully that it doesn't hurt my nose. It's really hard to describe this. So yeah, so this is a creation by Alberto Morillas. For granted, I compare it with Weedian Delma, but that one's also quite pricey. Um, some people compare it to Narciso for her, the pink bottle. I don't agree with that one. I used to own that one. I understand why they compare it that way. Because this is a strongly a musky scent. So from that perspective, you know, musky, people compare it to Narciso right away. But this is really hard to describe, you guys. But this is an orange blossom, vanilla, and sandalwood scent. It is overall a musky, vanilla, floral, and woody scent. Now, it's really hard to describe this because Misenseir Trust Cherry, it's a musky scent. The musk plays peekaboo on you. So sometimes the orange blossom comes out, sometimes it disappeared completely. And then sometimes the um, vanilla and sandalwood comes out and then it disappeared completely. So it's changing a lot. As if I'm I'm putting on three perfume in one, you know, like musky, powdery, floral scent, and then vanilla, sandalwood scent, and then orange blossom, woody scent. So it's like I'm putting on Armani Code Cashmere, where the orange blossom and the sandalwood and vanilla plays a role. And then our mini coat cashmere will disappear. And then like a Narciso type of musky, powdery, vanillic with floral scent would appear. And then it would disappear again and it becomes a musky scent. So it's like you're putting on two or three perfume at once. And depending when it is, you smell different things. That's the closest I can think of. So 
that's the best description that I could describe. So I this one doesn't smell like anything, but this is very unique. It's it is the best musky scent that I've ever smelled. It's simple, but at the same time, it gives you different type of sillage depending which note comes in and which note comes out. And it's just masterpiece, I think. Miss Denser Trust Chair is a masterpiece. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. All right. So the last but not least, this is Mas Milano Los Alas. This one comes in this beautiful packaging. Um, Los Alas. Mas Milano. Yeah. So it's like if you open it up, Mas Milano Los Alas would be sitting here. So it's so beautiful. Yeah. I really really been wanting this for a while so my name in real life is Alice and I thought I've been in a journey where I'm a little bit lost and I love Alice in Wonderland so I just want to own this bottle I want to own this perfume because I feel like this perfume symbolizes my journey at this point in time in my life you guys the perfume is really really good so first of all, look at the bottle. It's so beautiful. It's a little bit weird, actually. It's very unique. So the notes are listed for granticas are ambrette, bergamot, black pepper, clary sage. Middle notes are black tea, orris, carrot, white rose. Base note is milk, sandalwood, and broom. I don't know what broom is. Yeah, this one's strong. Mas Milano, Los Alas. Um is similar to misensor trust chair but not really let me try to describe it so this is a gourmand milky tea cookie like this one's also another masterpiece it's really really hard to describe it is so good it's like a combination of carrot cake with tea with milk sandalwood and spices so yeah this one think of it like a carrot cake with tea that's what it smells like to me i think this is also not a masterpiece it's really hard to describe the closest i could think of is that it is a carrot cake with tea with some spices all combined in a musky woody scent so the musky woody scent dry down is similar to when Miss Sensei Trust Cherry becomes musky, woody, vanillic scent. So at some point in time, this two come across and become a similar perfume, but then it splits and it goes into a different direction again because this orange blossom in here will come back and you would smell something like Armani Code Cashmere. And then it disappeared again. It becomes a uh, Narciso powdery, floral, moody scent again. And then that disappeared and Armani Code Cashmere comes back. So when it is in the musky, powdery, woody face, this two becomes more similar. And then this one goes back to a gourmand scent. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, these are all winners. Four of them, I highly, highly recommend them. These four are quite pricey, but I think they're worth every penny. This two has quickly climbed up as one of two of the best in my perfume collection. The rest of the perfume that I own are quite simple. I think this two might be the most... It's easy to like. It's very pleasant, but at the same time, it's it's complex. It's not complex in depth, but it's complex as in it changes from one scent to another the next minute. So yeah, it's like an art. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I am so sorry. It's hard for me to describe this too, just because they're so unique and they changes. They're mainly musky scent. This one's gourmand, tea, and carrot cake. This one changes from Armani Code Casimir to Narciso 
type of sand and then back to cashmere Armani coat and then back to Narciso type of sand uh, this one Los Alice is a gourmand tea carrot cake and then becomes musky vanillic woody sand which which this two are similar and then back to gourmand again yeah so this two changes a lot this two are linear yeah this one's the dry down is more like by the fireplace minus the fireplace sand and this one's more like luby rouge make it beast mode and less less style but the opening is bitter coffee nespresso think of sour pungent strong black coffee double shot a little bit burn with tons of sugar because this one's quite sweet and this one smells like ground coffee with vanilla in a soap form kind of thing like less soap form yeah think of it like a face scrub in a coffee scent that's one this one smells like dry down is by the fireplace minus the fireplace anyway guys this four are masterpiece this four are really really good go get them thank you so much for watching i'm sorry that i confused you i try my best to describe it to you but this four i highly 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 recommend them all right thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one Bye bye